Welcome to another video. Uh, this one is, well, just thought I'd crack on with a little quick video about a couple of things I bought recently that have actually made my life a little bit easier. And if you're like me and you like your photography to be a little bit easier, you might find something out of this video I don't know. The first one is this. Now, no, not the battery, actually the pouch that goes on there. Very, very simple bit of Velcro wrapped around the tripod and whole stuff. So if, you're, if you've got an intervalometer or you're doing a long time lapse, things like a battery or an intervalometer can slide in there and just stay there. You don't have to carry it, you don't have to dangle it. It means that your tripod is staying a lot more steadier than stuff flapping in the wind. Now, I know I've got this on there and that flaps in the wind all the time, but that is a really good purchase for me. Really cheap. I found, I found, in fact, I found all of these on, I think, AliExpress and had them shipped from China take a couple of weeks but actually really really good uh, the second one is and you, I don't want to touch it at the moment but you see I've got an L bracket on my camera now I have, I've had lots of L brackets this one is specific to the camera and I got this off Aliexpress it means I can open my battery compartment it means I can get to all my cables that I need to get to my little trap doors on the side there that often like you have to slide your camera out of the L bracket to get to well, what I used to do is just slide the camera round so that the camera tilts off centre of the L bracket so I can get to the doors. Game changer. I know there's a lot out there and you can buy the official ones and they're hundreds, sometimes you know between 50 quid and 100 pound for an L bracket. This one was cheap as chips. Uh, found it on AliExpress. If you want a link, let me know. Uh, this is d designed specifically for the A7R 4 They've got them for all types of different cameras. I kid you not. Game changer absolutely fantastic it means i can leave that on there i've had a lot of problems recently with shoots with swapping cameras forgetting my my plates for the uh for the, the tripod plates for the mounts for the cameras uh this can just stay on there if i'm using this for landscape photography and i've not got a problem it'll stay in my bag i ain't gonna lose that it's a lot bigger than a stupid little little tripod mount the third thing it might not be too obvious but you may have seen it is this contraption here You'll notice that my ball head isn't attached directly to my tripod. It's on this little platform. Now this little platform is a leveling plate. And the reasons why it's important and why it's a game changer for me is because I like to do a lot of panoramas. And you'll find that if your tripod is on a ball head, getting both the tripod and the camera level to get a really good transition in your uh, panorama photography is really difficult. So you end up with images kind of all over the place uh, and you, you end up with arched images and you have to crop in and do a lot of lot of stuff in Photoshop to get them back to where they look good. This means I could, these three red rings, if you like here, they level the plate. I've got, I've got a, uh, a level bubble there and a level bubble on the side to say that, it's, I mean, this is exactly level. And all I need to do is make sure my camera's level. And then if I swing my camera around, it's gonna be level. Sounds rudimentary and it sounds like all you need to do is make sure your tri tripod's level. It's not as easy as you think it is. Getting your tripod level is not that easy. Sounds easy, but it isn't. Trust me. Uh, this thing, again, was fairly cheap. Got off AliExpress and it's a game changer. It means that as soon as I put those images together in Lightroom, they are going to be proper panoramas. They're not going to be oval or however, you know, your horizon line is going to be straight. You're not going to have issues trying to mess around later in Photoshop is what I mean. Time savers, game changers, all three of these things. I think that's pretty damn good. Uh, hopefully, I mean, this was a very short video. I just wanted to put something out there. They're relatively new purchases. Uh, they're going to be on my camera a lot. You're going to see them quite a bit in my videos. I'll leave links if I can to them down in the description if you want to buy these things. Uh, obviously, I've got the A7R4 version equivalent of the L bracket. If you have an A7R4, you'll see that in the link in the description. But these other things, I've even got a pouch that's bigger than, I've got another pouch like this, but bigger so I can put more things in it. That fit on the tripod. It's a game changer. Why did I not think about that before? It means I've got less things flapping around, excuse the, the yeah, just thought I'd give a quick overview of some of my recent purchases that have made my photography, especially things like time lapse that I'm, I'm out here a long time. Uh, you know, I need a battery. There, it doesn't have to dangle or sit on the floor or sit on my, my camera bag, you know, depending on where I am. I can have my camera bag on my back, so I don't have to worry about people nicking stuff. Uh, I'm fine here, you know where I am, or just a castle, but this is what it is. I'm currently doing a time lapse. I'll leave this time lapse at the end of the video. I'm just getting the clouds going behind the, 
the thing. I'm actually recording video for my new book. Now my new book is going to be on time lapse photography, but it's going to be an interactive book. There are going to be QR codes dotted throughout the book where you can dip into these videos that I'm making today and other videos I've made already and some more videos I'm going to make over the next couple of weeks to get my book finished. And yeah, I just thought having an interactive book is the way to go forward with this kind of photography. It's really easy to sit and read a book about the, the technical aspect of time-lapse photography, but it doesn't always give you the emphasis to go out and do it and practice yourself. So the videos I'm making today are about that. I'm doing this, this uh, time-lapse for that video, but I'll show you this time-lapse once I've finished it as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please whack a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already and you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to get updates every time I upload a new video. That would be amazing. And until the next one, I'll see you boys and girls soon. Take care. Bye.